these are the measurements you'll be needing for this tutorial you need your full trouser length your nail length your hip circumference measurements you need your thigh circumference measurements you need your new circumference measurement and you need your ankle circumference measurements these are two the materials that you'll be needing for this tutorial you need your cashmere fabric you can work with any fabric of your choice you can work with chinos just any fabric of your choice i have my chalk to take my measurements please ignore the size of my chalk you can work with anyone you can work with an invisible pen i have my table to take my vertical and horizontal measurement i have my scissors to cut my fabric i have my Cigula and my pants cuff. As you can see, I folded my fabric savage edge to savage edge, savage edge to savage edge, right side facing the right side. That's how you're going to fold the fabric. Make sure that the savage edge can you see the savage edge is touching the savage edge of the other end. After making sure that you've trimmed the top edge of your fabric to be straight, take your crush measurements. And the crush length measurement is the tie cycle fence divided by 2 plus 2 inches. Your lap measurement divided by 2. Then you add 2 inches to it and that's the line I'm going to like right now. The 2 inches is for the elastic that will be on the waistline. So what you see me doing right now is just ruling a line to cut off that um, savage edge because I don't like working with savage edge. So I'm going to go this up to the length of the pants. It fits the same thing. I don't like working with um, savage edges. So let me just rule a straight line. I'll cut it off later. I'm just trimming off the top edge of the pants because I want that part to be straight at all costs. Next, I'm just making sure that my crush depth measurement is the same. On the crush depth measurement, that line on the line, you're going to mark half of your tie measurement or your lap measurement, half of your lap measurement or your tie measurement. So that's what I just marked now. From there, I'm going to mark two inches you're going to move in two inches from that mark point that is for the front fork two inches i'm just making sure that my lap measurement is the same and all my markings are the same so now from this two inches line you're going to extend the mark points upward just extend that two inches line upward and you want to connect this mark point with a straight line Now let's work on the front part of the pants. The reason why this video was filmed because it is a boxer pattern. So now let's add the boxer effect. So I'm going to mark two inches from the our front line, the center line. I'm going to mark two inches like this and extend the line, not up to the crush line, but somewhere close to the crush line. So for the back angle, I'm going just going to come in one inches from that point and curve it into the center front of the pants. That's the center front line of the pants. So we have a back or a front curve. Now you can either curve or slant this part. You can either curve the way a pant, the boxer used to be curved on the front, and you can either slant this side. I love working with the slant effect, so I'm going to add a slant effect into this pants pattern. And so the upper part of our pants it is ready. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to work with the full length of the pants now. So before taking the full pants measurement, I'm just going to remove that two inches for elastic that we added to the crush depth. 
remember we added two inches to it so i'm going to remove it two inches before taking the full pants length so you're going to just mark a point like this. from that mark point you're going to measure your full pants length so for my client i'm working with 39 and i'm going to add two inches to that 39 two inches for the emmy of the pants i've marked 39 and i'm going to mark two inches for the emmy of the pants so you along this mark point you're going to go a line two lines one for the original m line and the other line for the emmy of the pants so you have to line at the bottom part of this pants what you see me doing here is just extending that straight line from the um, upper part of the pants to remove the savage edge from the pant design because I've told you earlier on I don't like working with the savage edge so from that line point I'm going to mark my ankle measurement which is 7 inches 7 inches so that is our ankle measurement so the next thing you're going to do you're going to mark your nail line measurements my nail line measurement is 23 i took this measurement on my client's body so i'm going to mark 23 inches and on this nail line i'm going to mark half of my new measurements so that's what i'm doing right now I'm marking half of my new measurements my client's new measurement is 17 I divided by it by two and I mark half of it on the knee line. So I'm going to extend this line to the ankle line. From the knee measurement, I'm going to connect it to the ankle measurement like that, which is slightly slant line. So from the front cuff, you're going to use your pants cuff to curve that pant. I'm just checking out the best part of the ruler that I will be able to work with so now I think this place is okay don't make it too deep so I think I've gotten the points that I want to work with so I'm going to use my chalk to connect this with its curve into the new line and this is what we have our poster pattern is ready the next thing you want to do from here you want to cut out this pants design for the front and then you are going to cut use the front to cut out the back once you have the front set of this pants it is easy to cut the back set of the pants so now you're going to cut 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 so next i'm trimming off the salvage edge that i don't want to work with you are so now I'm going to cut the front curve. I noticed that the boxer pattern is so um, deep towards the front curve. So I extend my hand a little bit upward, then I cut out my boxer design that is at the front. So you see the inner line, that is the center line. So that's that. Once you finish cutting this pan, this is what your pan should be looking like. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to cut the back part. Use this front part that we just cut out to cut the back part of the pants. Hello dear viewers, please follow every step I followed in this video to achieve the same results. Please do that. If you can see after cutting out the pants, what I did for the rest of the fabric is to align it the way they are. You're not going to make it move from its position. Just make sure that you align the fabric to be smooth so that you can place the front pattern on it. So that's what I'm doing right now. Please make sure you move every pocket that is on this um, fabric. So that you don't add ease to your clothes.
now we work back the front set of the pants and you can see the way I unfolded it now what you notice that is the direction of the pant has changed remember when we were cutting the pants it was at the opposite direction make sure you take note of this now the pants um, ankle is now facing the other side that's how to cut the pants align this make sure that the front fork is touching the edges of the fabric there's a reason why it has to touch so that you can trim it off you want the um, side seam to be aligned to align so make sure you what you follow everything i'm doing in this video and the m to make sure the m is aligned as well After making sure that the way I place the pants is okay, I'm going to notch that part. See the way I notch it? The other side, I'm going to trim it off like this. To make sure that the side seam are aligned. So the next thing you want to do, you want to pull the pants forward like this. You pull it forward like this. Make sure the M are aligned. The M is on a straight line. And what I the seam, remember we have not had the seam allowance on the fourth pattern. So what I have there should be one and half at the ankle. What you should have there should be one and half inches. Please one and half inches. So that's what I'm going to have there, one and half inches. And for the back fork, the back extension, you must have three inches there. If you don't have three inches, pull the fabric in such a way that the, it doesn't disturb the m part of the fabric so make sure that you are having three inches there at the back extension or the back fork i'm just making sure that all my measurements are the same all you should have here is three inches i'm just trying to pull the fabric so that it won't move now you're going to fold the boxer pattern like this and you're going to add two inches seam allowance again remember you snip that part so you're going to follow your snip and connect it into the back part of the pants so i folded the boxer design so what i'm going to do i'm going to add two inches that two inches is for the sewing allowance remember that when we were cutting the front part of the pants we did not add any seam allowance so all the seam allowance is going to the back and that is what i'm doing right now you see the way i fold i folded it along the center front line and then i'm going to mark my two inches seam allowance two inches seam allowance So now remember you snip that follow that snip to connect it to the center back don't curve too much just make sure it's slightly curved towards the center back because what i'm doing i'm not curving i'm just making sure that from that snip point i'm just extending it towards the center back there's a reason why don't curve the way your front you can see it very well now you can see that the curve is not like the one we had in the front so i'm going to continue from the snip I'm just going to cut it out now you have added your seam allowance side seam of the pants are aligned so that when you start sewing this pants you won't have any problem with it so we have our front and back set of this pants ready so this is how to cut the um, boxer pattern so for the pockets i'm going to come down first five inches and seven inches you only snip the front don't snip the back thanks for watching bye